you'll need spray paint, a skateboard, a drill, heavy duty rope, a pencil, and two wooden dowels for handles, which actually didn't work out for me, but I can show you how to make them. This didn't end up working out for me, but if you made the holes further apart, I'm pretty sure it would. So just mark where you want the holes and then you're gonna drill through them. I used the spray paint to paint the top of my board for a cleaner look. Now you're gonna take your drill and your drill bit, which needs to be larger than the rope you're using so it can thread through the holes easily on the handles. Go ahead and drill two holes into each handle. Set those aside for right now. Now you're gonna do the same thing to your skateboard. Drill two holes on each side so you can thread the rope through. Thread your first piece of rope through one side and then you're gonna knot it so it doesn't teeter-totter when you're using it. Make sure to do it as tight as possible to the base. So I'm super bummed that these handles didn't end up working out, but what I did is I spray painted them white to match the board and then I threaded it onto the rope and knotted it to where I thought a good handle placement would be. But then it just didn't work out because it wasn't wide enough, the holes weren't further apart. So I ended up just giving up on that idea and then just knotting it in one big knot for a handle instead of actually a physical handle. that is one way to make a skateboard swing but the reason I did not show you how I hung it up is because I do not trust myself to properly hang it up Paul doesn't really trust me to properly hang it up I can barely hang a picture we didn't hang it ourselves I faked it for the video actually Paul was holding both sides of the rope and swinging the board for me he was just out of the frame so that is why we are having our handyman come out and hang it for us to make sure it is properly installed so I suggest you guys really do your research the weight bearing for the rope that you're doing and the branch or wherever you decide to put it just please 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 make sure you do your research to hang it properly so nobody gets hurt as you can see the handles didn't work out for me I just needed to drill the holes further apart but then I actually fell in love with the knotted look versus the handle look I do think the handles would be awesome if the skateboard swing was going this way and like the kids stood on it and they could hold the handles as they rock back and forth I think that would be an awesome idea but for now the knots worked for me but I do want to look into other varieties of the skateboard swing so I've been getting a lot of comments about the kickflip bet and I just want you guys to know that I haven't given up I was injured after that last video because I have a bad left knee and I guess kickflipping just triggered something and it just blew up for a little bit but it's finally 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 back to normal so I am going to start kickflipping this weekend but obviously it needs to be under Paul's supervision because he doesn't want me getting hurt so hopefully I land it soon and I can share that with you guys because I worked really hard to get to where I got and now that I was injured for a little bit and I'm back on it I just wonder how long it's gonna take but I promise I will upload the video as soon as I land it go ahead and like this video if you want to see more skateboard DIY comment down below what you guys want to see next on my channel alright guys that's gonna be it for me today I will see you next Wednesday Thank you.